another sunny day on the farm. Um, oh, it's hot. Just lent on the truck. Um, so I am about to go and set up the wiener accommodation, which Blake brought over the other day with uh, the crane, crane, the digger. Uh, so I'm just picking up these plastic sides uh, for the hut, get them to the field connect them to the hut and then I'll come and pick up the wieners and take them up there and then hopefully there'll be no more escaping until they get big enough to be in a paddock with electric fencing because at the moment they'll just get underneath so they're going to stay in there until they get big enough to go to a paddock with electric fence and then I'll put them out in the paddock so hopefully this goes well and not as uh, hectic as it's been lately catching the other pigs <laughs> This is the site of our new setup. Um, that's the hut there, as you saw the other day. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go one out either side and then go down and then close it like that. Um, nice and cool in here. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's like 20 odd degrees at the moment, and it's yeah, it's pretty cool in here. Um, so yeah, they should they should enjoy this and then They'll have to be bordering these hooligans. They keep breaking out They got a nice view of the woods there. So Yeah, hopefully Should be a nice bit of accommodation for them I'd said about putting one of the panels either side of the hut, but I think there's a reason why these are slanted like that. So I think these slot in like so like that yeah and then the other panels will start getting that way Wiener accommodation done for now. Um, I need more pins, <clears throat> which is why I've got three more sheets left there. So I'm gonna put them in and then I'll look for pins or buy some pins and then just extend it. Uh, yeah, extend the outside bit for them before. Because the, what the pigs will do, for those of you that would have uh, followed my journey before I got this farm where I worked at uh, Newlands before this, the pigs will tend to shit there and they'll sleep in there. Pigs, as much as people think pigs are, um, uh, pigs are dirty animals, uh, pigs are probably some of the cleanest farm animals because they'll never, they'll never shit where they sleep if they have an option. So they'll poo as far away as where, they, as where their bed is. Um, so if I leave it too long after they've been in here, it's gonna be so hard to move those at the end. So. I gotta get a pin in the next few days once I move them in, and then they can they can have a bigger bigger <coughs> a bigger garden. I to call it. Alright, so now the plan is to get those lot in there. There's uh, 24 of them into the trailer, and then take them to the field. Uh, these lot are exceptionally bag trained. Uh, by, by bag trained, I mean if I've got a bag of feed and they're hungry, they'll come to me. So I don't need to push, get Rex in there to push them out because that would just wind them up. So I'm just going to open that there, shake the bag, throw some food in the trailer and hopefully they'll get in.
I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna manhandle this last one. I've only got one left. I'll see if I can just catch it and put it through the side door. Just popped into tool station to grab two T pieces and an elbow to go on a tank. Nearly 20 quid. So rather than go around the other side and come in that side, because I've got a, a hedge by the hut, 
going in through here, hopefully the cows behave and don't come out. I'm definitely not leaving the gate open because the one behind me going to the road is also open. So I'll have to go through and then come back and shut it. Out the way, cow. They're doing so good here. Enjoying the grass. Yeah, I know full well if I left this open, they'd be doing backflips on the road just there and cars go so quick on this road. I think we should petition or something and drop the speed because it's just mad how people drive so fast here. Hi guys, you enjoying the flies? Cows have got something about them. I love pigs, but cows have got their own... Um, so yeah, there's something about cows that I like. Right, you like you're gonna let me through. So you go run in front of that truck, okay. So the sheep our uh, sheep, well six of them are still with James, uh, who owns those cows, uh, James and Allison. And I'll need to bring them in this field to carry on eating this grass. Where they were eating is already growing back. They had a strip here. Um, but uh, yeah, I need to go get them at some point and bring them back. I can carry on eating that back. As you can see, some of it started seeding already. But yeah, they'll eat that back. Just arrived with the pigs and um, I'm trying to fill up the ad lib feeder. Some feed here, but I've got some interested candidates on there because I've not fed them yet so any scrunch of the bag they're getting a bit excited I'm gonna wait for them to walk away a little bit and then I'll carry on feeding feed filled up let the pigs go to their new accommodation straight to the feeder. No one's getting in to check the, check the accommodation. You'll enjoy it guys, I'm sure, trust me. It's got a bit chilly. Um, I had to stop my um, pig pen creation a bit earlier to look after Mr. Mr. Nah, our little boy. So now he just got to bed, uh, finished feeding and stuff. I am heading to the field with the water drop, it's a bit too big for me to carry um, by hand. I borrowed one of Blake's diggers um, to go and move, uh, move, move it with, seeing as he was so successful moving a hut with the digger. We're going to have a go and move it and drink it with the digger um, and setting it up for the piglet so they've got water. Right, I think I've got everything I need. Pipe cutter, uh, plumber's tape, a T-piece, the elbow which I've checked half inch which fits on the trough the, or the water tank, water tank and pipe which I hope is going to be long enough and also I hope it stays on for the duration of the journey. But here we go. Let's go. Now let's tuck it in a little bit. How do we tuck you in? Yeah, let's tuck her in. Alright. Not too much. Yeah, I want it a bit off the ground like that. Alright. Let's go. Hey ya. Not too much wobble, please. Oh, Nicky doing dinner. Can't wait to go back in and smash it. <laughs> Opa. Oh, yeah. 
ready to do this bit quickly because Noah is upstairs asleep. I hope I don't wake him up. Is Rex gonna come with me or just gonna sit there? Better get him to come with me. Rexy! piece done so that's the main pipe I just cut it there using pipe cutters which <coughs> is quite handy using pipe cutters because it cuts it straight you can use a knife but if this is at an angle and it leaks it's just annoying really so yeah two piece through there I'm gonna now go connect the pipe onto the trough that's all connected up um, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and tighten that brass fitting there um, as well as this because as I was twisting the corner piece um, it was turning the ball valve in there which I don't really want so I've just had it there just to hold on it's leaking a little bit um, so yeah tomorrow morning or actually no I'm butchering tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon I'll come back and actually before butchering I'll come up otherwise I'll leak too much I'll come and tighten that and we shouldn't have any leaks, but how good, job done. Enjoy your first night in your five-star accommodation, Big East.